Hello friends of the interwebs, it's Paul here on a gray rainy day, but I've got some excellent news. I got uh, results back from my latest scan and blood test and I am still cancer free. So that makes three years. I've still got another two more years to go before I'm considered completely cured. Uh, so there's going to be more tests and scans and whatnot, but apparently three years is a break point in the risk. If you can make it to three years with this particular type of cancer, uh, lymphoma, the type that I had, uh, you've got a good chance of remaining cancer free. So I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. When I learned that I had cancer three years ago, it was the worst day of my life. And now I feel like I've been born again and I'm thinking about you know, things in the future and so on, making plans. So it's, it's just a really excellent thing to, to, to know that you're cancer free now for three years. The only hitch is uh, my insurance is no longer paying for PET scans, so we're doing CT scans, which are cheaper. Uh, the PET scans apparently provide just a little bit better resolution or confidence or something like that for the type of cancer I have. And it's just maddening that there's somebody thousands of miles away looking at a spreadsheet who doesn't know me, doesn't know my doctor. This individual doesn't have medical training probably and they're making their, they have the ability to veto medical decisions of my doctor. It's our ridiculous American healthcare system. But other than that, I'm very grateful for the care I've received. The doctors and nurses were excellent. And I made it for three years, so I've got a good chance of making it two more. Thank you all so much for your support. The local folks and people out there on the internet, I really appreciate it. I've got more ideas for cat videos and things I want to do this year. And of course, I still have my little foster kitty Ashley, who's still looking for a home. And uh, she settled in nicely. She's putting on weight. She's happy and healthy, and uh, hopefully somebody picks her up, because there's more kitties that need help. Anyway, thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. See ya. Oh, he's cute, boy. Cute little boy. Cute little whiskers. Cute little ears. This is pretty unusual that she will stay on my lap for more than about 30 seconds. But she's slowly getting to be a more cuddly girl. It's going to it's going to be years before she's super cuddly. She's still pretty pretty young little kitty. So, it's going to be some time before she turns into a full-time cuddly cat, but she's starting to get there. Yeah, all oh, the pretty feet. Look at that pretty little face. Jumps. Look at Robs. Here's a good Robs. Little Ashley. 